Hi, this is Dan Malloy with Mechanical PE Exam Prep. We're working on six minute solutions problem number five. As part of the heat loss calculation for a storage facility, it's necessary to determine the U factor for the wall shown. The constituent layers have the following thermal resistivities in units of hour foot squared degrees Fahrenheit over BTU inches. Face brick, polyurethane insulation, and gypsum board. And the air films have the following resistances in slightly different units, hour foot squared degrees Fahrenheit over BTU. We have the indoor air film and the outdoor air film. The overall coefficient of heat transfer U for the wall is most nearly what? And they've given us a very helpful hint. The U factor is the reciprocal of the total thermal resistance of the wall. So let's start with a little reminder of what a U factor is. If we check out equation 42.2, and you remember, may remember this one because it's pretty often used, the heat transfer is equal to U, the coefficient of total heat transfer, times A, the area, times delta T. So we're not going to be calculating heat transfer in this problem, but this is how U gets used. It gets multiplied by area and delta T to figure out the total heat transfer. That's just a little reminder. And again, we said by definition, U is the overall heat transfer coefficient. I know it says that up here, but I just think it's, it's worth a reminder. So for a well-insulated building, we would expect the U factor to be very small because minimal heat transfer should be transmitted across the walls. So the next equation I want to point out is 42.3, which says the U factor can be calculated by taking the reciprocal one over the sum of the individual resistances of whatever make up that wall. And we can break that down even further, and we're going to use kind of a simplified version of this. But if you want to break it into its individual components, that's one over the sum of all the resistances. So what are the resistances? Well, there's these film coefficients on the inside and outside where there's air on either side of the wall. So you can take one over the inside film coefficient. And then you have thermal conductivities for each and every section of the wall. So we take the sum of each of those sections, and it'll be the thickness divided by the thermal conductivity. As an alternative to that, you can do the sum of what's called the conductance. So instead of being ba based on a unit of thermal conductivity where there's some thickness that you have to incorporate it can just be one over conductance and it's not usually both of these it's usually either or so in our case we're going to use a version of this one as opposed to a version of conductance and lastly there's the outside film coefficient that has to be accounted for okay so this is the most general form of how to find the u factor but the version of this equation that we're going to use is actually even a bit simpler because in the denominator of this we're taking the sum of the resistances and we've actually been given resistances already so instead of being given an inside film coefficient and an outside film coefficient we've been given the resistances directly it says air films have the following resistances and these units are units of the exact units we would expect for resistance R. So, so right off the bat, we don't really need this because it's going to be replaced by R inside. And we don't really need this because it's going to be replaced by R outside, which we're already given. So now we have to deal with the wall and the individual thicknesses. And here's another wrinkle. We weren't given thermal conductivities. K. Instead, we were given the thermal resistivities of the constituent layers. The difference being that the thermal resistivities, and I'm going to use little r for this, is the reciprocal of the thermal conductivity K. So instead of taking the sum of L over K, we're going to take the sum of L times R. And I wouldn't worry too much about this from the perspective of all the variables. Use your intuition and use the units. 
because the units will make it impossible to add things together and the answer won't make sense. So once we start plugging in numbers, you'll see that this is the only way it could really happen. So let's go ahead and sum up the thicknesses, um, the product of the thicknesses and the thermal resistivities. So the first one is the brick. We have a four inch brick and it has thermal resistivity of 0.1. So four inches times thermal resistivity of 0.1 and that has units of hour, foot squared, degrees F over BTU inches and the inches cancel out. Then we have the polyurethane which is two inches times resistivity of six. I'll skip the units because they're exactly the same and uh, trust that that'll work out in the end. And lastly we have the gypsum board which is only five eighths of an inch thick and has resistivity of nine point nine rather. And if you multiply and add all those up you get 12.96 hour foot squared degrees F over BTU because the inches went away. So that whole thing is the resistance of the components of the wall. The only thing that's not in the denominator then is just the resistance of the inside film and outside film. So to put it all together, let's now find U total. It's going to be 1 over all these resistances. So that's 12.96 plus these numbers we were given here, 0.68 and 0.17. And because all of these now have units of hour foot square degrees F over BTU, you can check that, right? Hour foot square degrees F over BTU, they can be added together. And you should get 0.072 and now the units flip, so it's BTU hour foot squared degrees F, and that is answer A. And lastly, I think it's just taking worth taking a minute to appreciate how the units play out. This is like saying for every square foot of area of this wall, and for every degree of delta T, there will be one BTU of heat transfer per hour. And that kind of fits with our idea of Q equals UA delta T. It's being multiplied by an area and it's being multiplied by a delta T. And the result is going to be some rate of heat transfer BTUs per hour. Any questions or comments, let me know. See you in the next video.